everybody, it's me, Snow, and today we are going to be, I'm going to, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get mods. This is Forge exclusive, so just go into your browser and search up Forge. Sorry, I really suck at typing today. Minecraft Forge, there it is. So, it should show up with this screen. I would definitely suggest getting 11.2. So, just click on let, uh, just do download latest or download recommended. They're both 11.2 currently. So, I would do installer. That's what I did. Then it will take you to an ad focus page. Don't click anything. See, over there, it says, please wait one second. Now skip. Your download will go right here. Let's just close this. Because we don't need that anymore. Now we can close out of that. Click on Forge. If you are on Mac, it will say Forge cannot be open because it is from an unidentified developer. Go to System Preferences. At least for my computer. Security and Privacy. Then just... Do Jim press OK, then open anyway. Open now we have Forge. Let's not have this one, let's just have it install client. We don't need the curious because that doesn't even do anything. It's gonna download successfully downloaded Forge to your Minecraft browser. Now if you go to Minecraft, since I already have Forge, it's gonna just gonna be right here. So now this is Mac exclusive. Tutorial, sorry all you people on Windows because I don't have one. Alright, so when you're on Mac you go to Brit uh, I don't even know what that symbol is called. Hyphen, that's what it's called. Um, backslash, library, backslash, then press go. Application support, Minecraft, mods. These are all my mods. So, um, let's, I'm just going to throw away this. We're going to go on Safari, and I have a, I have a list of mods right here. I check this every single day for new mods. See, elemental creepers mod for Minecraft, dogs mod. Let's do dogs mod. Not like it. It's not my. I mean, I like dogs more than cats. It's not even updated yet. All right. Sorry, I apologize about that. That's probably why I didn't get it. Okay. How about we do Bilbo craft? I'm. Probably gonna delete this mod very quickly after. This just adds like shelves and you gotta choose which painting and plates. This already adds a ton of stuff that I already have in my Minecraft world. Anyways, alright. Download. Do not click on any of this crap that shows up. Just click download. So there's Craft.jar. It's right there. Now just drag it right into here. Leave and go to your Minecraft launcher, which should look like this if you're doing 11, 1.11.2. And just start up your Minecraft game, and I'll be back when Minecraft has opened. All right. So now, if you do have a mod, it's just all this little thing right here, mods. So I mean, there's all this stuff. First, I would if you have a lot of mods. I also just doing, just typing up whatever mod you got. So I just got Bilbo Craft. It's right here, which is nice. Or if you just did get your first mod, you can just scroll down. You will always have Minecraft, Minecraft Coder Pack, Forge Mod Loader, Minecraft Forge, and not normally Mercurius Updater, but I just kept that. And then, if you keep going down, you will find Bilbo Craft or whatever mod you got. Mod you got. So, uh, I think we just go to this 
Oh, oh yeah, this one is just like some weird stuff. I just want to make sure they blew up something. Anyways, so it's reloading. Is now going to find here it is Bilbo Craft Lighting and here's a Bilbo Craft in general. Now I'm not sure where I'm going to use the Also, this is a case that you can put items in, I think. And they're just an upgrade, that's cool. Alright, so let's just put an iron sword. Or not, I don't even know how to play this. I have never played this one. Ah, oh, here it is. Here, here's a fun mod that I'm just for some reason showing you. Minions! Here you can just spawn them. Dig my shit. Alright, dig this please. They just go like this. They get so. Yeah, see, look, they're already starting to dig. That was the one chance we could run a super flat world. Anyways, why am I showing you this one? Okay. So, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. And goodbye.